Well, hello everyone. Uh, sorry I didn't have a video for the Austria uh, Formula G uh, series uh, last week. Um, kind of got very busy and wasn't, wasn't able to make a video of the round. I did play it, uh, but just didn't get a video. Uh, so I wanted to make this little video just to kind of show you where the locations were, how I went through my process a little. Uh, it won't be as long as a normal video because I'll just pretty much show you what I did and just so you can have a little bit of an update. Uh, maybe to start with that, uh, we did finish first, which was very nice, uh, but I already know it's not going to matter uh, because I'm being promoted to Formula 1, Formula G1 rather, uh, in order uh, to take the seat of Manasau Gio, who dropped out in the Chariot Racing Team, um, so I'll no longer be competing in Formula G2, uh, so yeah. But uh, let's start with these locations. I believe the first location was in Linz, yes, outside of Linz, uh, off the river, on the road, uh, very, very good location. Um, remember, this is non-moving, and how did I do that? Well, well let's bring up the location. Uh, so we look at the location for round number one. We got a highway, right? But the big thing is this sign right here. We have the A7. We know that Praha and Freistadt are two something of the east as where as well as an immediate exit for Linz Dornoch and 125. So we can actually kind of maybe see that exit just up here. Oh well, at least what I think is the exit up there. Uh, and so when we look on the map we find uh Linz. We look outside of Linz. I was looking for uh Dornoch uh and I don't think I don't remember I think I found it. What I did find was the A7 as well as the 125 and their intersection. Uh, I wasn't quite sure if we were back here. Uh, there's the intersection, but remember, we're looking to the east for that location, so we want to be east of it, and sure enough, there is the exit, so I just put us a little ways east, looking at the bit of a curve. I knew we weren't close to this exit because we can't see it behind us, uh, so I just put us right in here, and we did pretty well, 4994 almost a 5k uh but everybody did pretty well on that one uh yeah so uh round two was what was round two again i think it was down here ah yes another very good guess in uh zillingtal outside of south of vienna uh in round two what you get is one this fire station was zillingtal on it and uh Two, we have another thing with looks like a, I don't know, a motorcycle group or dirt run, some kind of ATV or something. Um, kind of a rural location. Uh, we do kind of get another Zerintal again. Um, what I thought this might be when I was looking at all of this, as well as some of this, uh, was that it would be a state. Uh, because it's a fire station, I thought maybe Freiwilling might be. I think that means volunteer, uh, if my translation isn't right, is correct. Um, yeah, and I know pretty decent road we're on. Uh, so when I went to the map, I was looking for states because I didn't know what Zillingtal was. I thought, well, it's something. Uh, it's got to do. It maybe it's a big city. Oops, it's a big city. I don't see a big Z city. So I kind of zoomed in, was checking out some of these state borders. Maybe it's a state or something. And um, I started up here by Vienna, well, obviously Vienna, Lower Austria. And as I just zoomed down for another state name, I just saw it because it's right there next to the border. Um, it also has a Zillingdorf, which I was like, oh, that looks familiar. And then, oh, that's not the right Zilling something. But then I found Zilling Tull. Not too far away. So that was pretty much just pure luck um, of me just looking in the right part of the country, zoomed in, and I didn't waste a lot of time looking everywhere else. So um, I didn't know where we were in town. I knew we weren't in town. I probably should have done a little bit better and looked at the gas station. Um, but I just picked the main road outside of town, and I was like, well, it might be somewhere here. And it looks like I actually didn't click on the road itself. I didn't zoom in far enough. Um, but I just clicked. I had to play it really quickly. You did see I did spend about three minutes looking for it, but that's about it. 
uh round three was way over here i had no idea where we were as we take a look at round three we we're by a river on a road somewhere <laughs> um very mountainous uh so i i just basically said look um we're probably in the western half somewhere and uh i just threw us down and we were actually a little bit more east than i thought we were but not a whole lot you can do with that. You can see most people also not doing too well with that. Uh, Calamity played it being his home country, and I did beat him, so I'm a little bit happy with that. Uh, round four and five were both out uh, outside of Vienna. Round four, quite a ways off. What kind of threw me off with round four was I assumed this was a river right here. Um, we can see kind of some city stuff kind of well built up um that's about all you can see there's some bus station stops maybe and it didn't look very mountainous so that kind of ruled out the western half and i was like okay maybe we're somewhere over here and i said well where is there a, a decent river well you know the danube decent river and not too far from the kind of main urban area and i kind of just said well if we're not near vienna we might be near one of these other cities um i didn't think we were way over by salzburg or graz so i just kind of like, well i'll just put us out here there's a nice river maybe it's the danube um looking back i probably should have guessed over here and i'm kind of glad i didn't because we were in a small little river uh, much closer to Vienna than I thought we were. So save myself a bit of points uh, on that by just picking the big river and trying to be in between this whole area evenly was kind of my goal. All right, and then in round number five, uh, we were really close to Vienna. Um, I kind of got that feel. You can see we've got uh, a bus stop name uh, but we also have where is it this way here we go is the big high-rise buildings and i'm like well there's probably only one city in austria that looks like this extensively developed downtown and that's vienna so i was like well we are what is that east of vienna maybe almost directly east uh look for something like Mosgasa or something and didn't really find it i didn't think we were that close to vienna i felt like we were more like on this band out here um but maybe this is a bigger mountain than i think it is um i kind of honestly just said well we're outside of a town in a suburban area and just clicked outside i should have maybe guessed closer um but i almost would have put us where we were for round four for this round, uh, to be honest. Uh, but I kind of hedged my bets a little bit. Couldn't really tell how far away Vienna was, so just went with that. And yeah, that's what I did for uh, Austria. Not bad, 18,681 points. That did put me in first, which means I was leading Formula G2 uh, before my promotion, which uh, unfortunately means I won't get a victory in that division anymore. But yeah, um, I will have a UK video coming very soon. Um, ben messed up the links for the Formula 2 series, uh, and he only just now released, like after the whole week is over, released the series uh, for Formula G2. So I'll play it as kind of my farewell to Formula G2 uh, to see how I do, and then from there on I'll be spending a lot more time working on formula g1 which i've kind of been doing kind of haphazardly and not really practicing just because i wasn't a main competitor uh for that at all but well thank you all for watching i'm sorry this is a little bit late uh, but i hope you enjoyed it anyways take care